Hi guys, welcome back to another Worth It or Worthless. I'm so excited. I love doing these videos for you guys. If you're new to my channel, I have absolutely no clue what I'm talking about. This is a series that I started on my channel a while back to update you guys on any haul products or anything that was sent to me to try out and I am here to tell you guys whether it is worth it or worthless. So if you are new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you do like it and let's get on with the worth it or worthless products. Now obviously these products are in absolutely no particular order. I keep them in a basket and I'm just going to pull out as I randomly have them. So the first thing that I have here is the NYX Sweet Cheeks Palette. This is what it looks like. These are absolutely beautiful uh, blushes here. So I'm going to try to swatch as I go so you guys can actually see them here. But I have been wearing these um, for the most part. I have been testing these out. And these are a bit powdery as you guys can see right there. These are a bit powdery but they blend beautifully on the cheeks they build really nicely this palette makes me not regret getting rid of the old nyx square um blushes that i recently decluttered i loved those blushes the pigmentation was so beautiful on them they blended very nicely they're a little bit powdery but these reminded me of these and these were some of the colors that i did give up so i'm kind of okay now that I have given those up because I do have this palette. It is travel friendly. It doesn't have a mirror. It's pretty inexpensive and I feel like you can get an all year round um, blush look with these. And I feel like it can go with a lot of different skin tones. You got your lighter colors here. You get your deeper colors here and then you get your in-betweens. I have mixed and played with these. Like I've mixed these two together. I've mixed these two together. I've worn this one on its own. The only one I really didn't play around with is this bubblegum pink right here. But I can mix that to give it more of a vibrant pink look to any of these blushes. So I absolutely, I really do like this and I would recommend this. It is really nice. I don't feel like these are very hard to work with. And you do get nice payoff with them. I don't feel like they last all day. But they do get a good 8 to 10 hour wear. At least for me on my cheeks. So yes, this is worth it. Next up that I have is this Natasha Denona All Over Face and Body Shimmer Powder. I got this in 01 Light, and if you're wondering why it's in the box, let me explain. So this is an absolutely beautiful product. It is beautiful packaging in here, um, and it is a beautiful highlight. You get a mirror on it, but for the price, this should not be happening. This is what happened to mine. It literally, I wore it once and it came out of its packaging. So I haven't glued it back in here or I haven't decided whether I'm just going to put it in a Z palette. But that's why I have it in the box because I don't want it to break. But this is what it looks like here. It is a beautiful, beautiful highlight. Like, it is stunning. It is gorgeous. It wears really nicely on the cheeks. It stands out, but it blends and meshes with your skin as the day goes on throughout the day it is a beautiful highlight I think she has two or three different colors in total oh one is more of that champagne -y color as I blend it out you guys can see that it is more of a uh, usable wearable one it doesn't really accentuate my textures at all it just looks so beautiful on the skin it's not super potent like the Becca highlighters but it is still a highlight that will stand out on your cheeks it is beautiful if you are curious about these I would recommend these are beautiful they are a little bit pricey and these are dupable highlighters so but the formula is really really nice soft buttery it is not super powdery it just blends really nice to the skin so yes I think this is worth it with the exception of the actual packaging breaking on it so I do have to glue this back in here but I do really like this one a lot next up I have is the Urban Decay blushes that I did recently haul maybe like a few months ago these as soon as I purchased them um, off the 21 days of beauty they started to go half off of Ulta's website, Macy's website, Urban Decay's website. So I'm not sure if they're discontinuing these, but these are so beautiful. I have two colors here, Video and Score. These are the ones that I have been wearing the most, especially this time of year. These blend like a dream on your cheeks. They are so buildable. You don't get a lot of powder kick up with these at all. Now that I swatched it because I dug my finger in there, but yes, these are 
absolutely beautiful. I really like these. They blend beautifully. They build really nicely on the cheeks. They don't accentuate any of my fine lines or any any texture that I have on my skin. And they're not powdery. You don't get a lot of powder kick up with these, but they're still soft to the touch and you do get pigmentation out of these. These are really nice and I really like these for all every everyone like even older skin mature skin I feel like these would really work beautiful on your skin because they're not super potent but you still get the color that is in the pan and they're not powdery or accentuate any textures these are a great great formula I do feel like these last a long time the packaging is really pretty if you're into packaging um, they have so many different colors I have a lot of different colors but overall the actual line I really like and I would definitely recommend these I don't know. Please somebody let me know if these are discontinued because I'm going to be pretty sad that these are discontinued because those are really, really great. All right, this eyeshadow palette right here. This is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette, and this is in the color Warm Neutrals. This is not a bad eyeshadow palette. The actual mattes blend really nice. They're very pigmented. I didn't find any trouble with the mattes at all. I feel like they did blend really nicely. I felt like they had the pigmentation there. Yes, they are powdery. Yes, you do get powder kick up on these, but for the price, you do get a really nice actual palette. The only downside that I have is some of the lighter shades here, like these two right here, are very powdery and chunky. These would have to be used wet or with some sort of glitter adhesive in order for them to really look nice. My fingers are wet at the moment so you could see that they look so much better when you do wet these eyeshadows. If they are dry, they will be crumbly, they will be powdery, they're not going to get a lot of pigmentation on your eyelids. So some of the actual shimmer shades, the lighter ones, I would recommend wetting those. Those are the solution to crumbly eyeshadows. But overall, this is not a bad palette, and you will see this palette if you haven't already seen it, but it may be in a future video, where this is very similar to one of the newer palettes that recently just released, and this is fraction of the price. So would I recommend this if you are on a budget and you want a specific palette that is out, I would say go with this. This is very, very usable. I don't feel like this is crap product. This is actually pretty good. It's not the best, but I do like it for drugstores. So yeah, if you're on a budget, I would recommend this. This is the Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. This, you guys, is stunning. You guys have seen this all over YouTube. These are just some of the best highlighters in the market as far as, um, look at that, as far as drugstore goes. I love these, love these. These are so soft. These blend beautifully. They are really, really out there. Um, highlighters, these are not soft by any means. I personally like to mix these two where I place this one all over my high, um, my cheekbones and then this one I kind of center it right here to kind of mesh them together. This pink one I can only really get away with it when I am at fair but it is absolutely beautiful. Yes, hands down, if you are looking for drugstore highlighters that look and feel like the Becca highlighters, this is your winner right here. I love this, love this to death. I would highly recommend that one. If you are looking at anything in the Flower Beauty collection that recently came out, this is definitely there. I absolutely love this. Next up is this L'Oreal Infallible Blush Palette. This is beautiful. I have to be honest with you guys, compared to the Maybelline one that recently came out with the three blushes and then that highlighter, I like this one a hundred times more. The colors appeal to me more. These are more for the summertime, but these just they're just so pretty they're not super powdery they're more of a drier formula but I kind of like that because I can really control the actual product look at this this is so pretty like you don't want these type of colors to be so pigmented because it, it'll be hard to work with so I like the fact that these are nice and you could see the color but they're still sheer like I still see my skin through these these are beautiful I love to mix and match I just bounce my blood on uh, my powder uh, 
blush in here pick the colors I want and it looks so nice these perform like high-end blushes they're really really pretty I do like this one this one I like it so much better than the Maybelline one I feel like the Maybelline one depending on what powder I use or what foundation it can be splotchy and it could skip on my skin but this one no no ma'am love this one a lot more up next are these two highlighters from Pixi. Yes, you guys. Oh my goodness. These are so, 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 so good. I have both colors here. This one's uh, Santorini Sunset. These are legit serious highlighters. Like, this is not for those that want a very subtle natural highlight. No. You do not want these if you like that type of um, highlight. So let me swatch these for you guys to share with you guys my thoughts. Okay, so the lighter one is called London Luster, and obviously the darker one is Santorini Sunset. So this is what they look like. Here are the swatches of both of them. Here is Santorini Sunset, and this one is London Luster. Now, London Luster is way too light for me, even when I am pale. But again, the trick that I've been using is I'll use Santorini Sunset all over my highlighting area and then I'll grab the London luster and place it right here. This is a beautiful inner corner highlight. It is stunning as an inner corner highlight. It really makes your eyes stand out. It really makes them wide and awake. That's why I like it. If you are fair skin and you cannot find a highlighter or you feel like the Becca Pearl is way too expensive for you, this is going to be your best friend. It is so, so, so beautiful. I love these. These are amazing, you guys. The drugstore has been stepping it up with their products, but then again, with that type of statement, you also got to consider the prices are not five, six dollars. These are, I believe, were like sixteen dollars a piece, but it is worth it. These are worth it. I will pay the sixteen dollars for these. They're beautiful. They're stunning. I think these were limited edition, but I still see them hanging around. I'm pretty sure Target's website still has them. So if you are interested in these, I would highly say these are worth it. Definitely. This is the last blush that I have in here. This is the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach blush. This is stunning. This, if you don't own it, it is so beautiful. It's just one of those blushes that is so it just goes so well with medium to deep skin tones. I feel like this, oh, this is just so pretty. Reminds me of a sunset. It's like that orangey peachy sunset. It does smell good. I think that this formula is beautiful. It blends really nice. It, it is a bit powdery, but you do get a beautiful color payoff. It does have some sort of sheen to it, so it's not completely matte at all. And it does give you that healthy summer peachy glow, that beautiful peachy blush that you uh, that's the type this is the type of blush I love to wear this time of year it's just beautiful I am wearing a peachy blush today but it's not this one it's something else that I have been infatuated with as well this is just beautiful this is a lot more pigmented a lot more deep peach than the one in the trio that I recently did in my last worth it or worthless this one definitely has more of a pigmentation than that one. That one I feel like it's a glow within type of peach a blush. This one is true peach, true blush type of formula. It is beautiful. If you have been on the fence about this one and you don't own many peach blushes, I feel like this one's really nice. It doesn't really, it doesn't have too much pink in it. So if you're more of that true peach type of person, it's going to look beautiful. If you have that olive toned skin, oh my gosh, this would look stunning on you. I feel like this is a really nice blush for anybody who's medium to deep, and I feel like the one in the trio is more for like medium to fair. I feel like that's how they I would market both of them, but this one, mm, I love it. I love it. The last three things are highlighters. I'll start out with this one. This is the Tarte Exposed Highlighter. I like this. I didn't buy it at first because I had heard somebody say that they didn't like it. It wasn't as potent. This is potent. This is legit potent. Like, this is beautiful. The only downside that I do feel with this one is that it will accentuate your textures. It will accentuate anything you have on your skin because it is so potent. And you do see some shimmer in it, but I don't feel like it's glittery. Like, it's not a glittery highlighter but you do still get the glitter in there um as it fades for me 
it my oils make it melt more on my skin so I feel like it looks even better throughout the day than when I first apply it because it doesn't really look like it's a uh, I physically put a highlighter on because I have oily skin things tend to kind of melt into my skin a lot better and that's why I I love my oily skin in that way. Um, so this one does look better throughout the day for me. I do like it. I don't feel like this is going to be for everyone. This is not a subtle highlight. This does have glitter flexes in it. I don't feel like they fell all over my face either. So um, I would say uh, I wouldn't recommend this for everyone. If you like this type of highlighter, if you like it to be potent, stand out, um, really nice and a gold undertone see how that looks it doesn't really ha you can't really see the glitter in it but in person you can see it you can definitely see it but it looks really pretty on the skin I would only be able to wear this in the summertime I don't feel like I can get away with using this one in the winter when I am at my lightest so if you have light to medium uh, more of the medium side away too deep I feel like this would look good on you but if you have fair to light skin not so much so that's my thought on it so I'm on the fence with it depending on who gets it but I personally like it I I feel like it's a really nice highlighter last two things are from NARS the first one is the NARS hot sand highlighter so this one is so beautiful I know quite a few of you had mentioned to me what my thoughts were on this this is not for medium to deep skin tone at all like right now i cannot wear this this will look too ashy on my skin it'll really stand out it'll look way too white based for my skin tone right now that i am medium toned this is beautiful for light to fair skin this has a really beautiful subtle peach undertone to it but it doesn't look so peach on the skin nars really has beautiful highlighters beautiful powder products so this does not accentuate your textures does not accentuate anything on your skin it looks like a beautiful glow on your cheeks it blends beautifully it applies really nicely it has absolutely no glitter no chunks of anything it's just a really nice glow within it reminds me of the laura geller matte baked highlighter Reminds me of it, but just more of a subtle undertone to it. It's, um, it doesn't look super peach either on the skin, but you can tell that it's not champagne-y. It's beautiful. It is stunning. I really liked it. Unfortunately, right now I can't use it. That's why I haven't been using it, but it is a beautiful highlight. I really, really like this one a lot. I'm happy that I got it um, because I wouldn't have, like, <sighs> Looking at it in the pan, it looks like nothing, but when you put it on your cheeks, it is a very, very nice highlight. Last but not least is this NARS uh, Blanc de Sable Highlighting Palette. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but oh well. This is beautiful. This is a little bit more of a um, highlighter. It's a, the Gelee formula, so it, it's more potent than the Hot Sand one is. So you're going to get color payoff. I love mixing all three colors um, when I am in my medium toned. But in, this, in the winter time, I tend to gravitate more towards these two. This one is beautiful for um, darker skin tones. The reason why I like this and I would recommend this one more is because you do get a variety. You get those for your fair, light, and then dark to deep skin tones. You can mix and match them to whatever you like. You can use one particularly. So in, or if you're the type that likes to self tan or you do get tans and you lighten up throughout the year, this is a great one to have. This one's definitely more of a potent highlighter, but it still is a beautiful highlight. It doesn't have those shimmer flexes in it. It's just that gelée formula. And if you ever own any gelée formulas, you know that they're very, very potent. They stand out, but they don't accentuate much of your things that you don't want to accentuate. It is a beautiful formula. I really like it. I would recommend any time that you have something like this formula, use a dual fiber brush. I feel like a dual fiber brush will pick up the product, but it won't make a mess out of the actual product. So I just literally swirl throughout all three of them at this time of uh, my tanning game. And it looks really pretty on the cheeks. I really like this one. I know this is limited edition, but I still see it on the NARS website and I'm pretty sure it might be still on the Sephora website so I am not sure about that yet I have to check that out. so that is it guys thank you guys so much for watching I really have to learn to sit back because if I sit forward I kind of look like this 
I gotta sit back more often because I look more upright. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in my next video. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear. Bye, guys.